This is Tradeflow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Tradeflow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. EU leaders on Friday warned that cheap energy is gone and agreed to boost preparations for further cuts in Russian gas, accusing Moscow of weaponizing energy via a supply squeeze which Germany warned could partly shut its industry. A day after celebrations over setting Kyiv on the road to membership of the bloc, Friday's summit in Brussels was a sober reflection on the economic impact of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, with growing worries over soaring prices and warnings of a tough winter. Inflation is a major concern for all of us, European Council Chief Charles Mitchell told a news conference as the two-day summit ended. Oil prices settled up by more than $3 a barrel on Friday, supported by tight supply but they notched their second weekly decline on concern that rising interest rates could push the world economy into recession. Brent crude settled up $3.07, or 2.8%, at $113.12 a barrel by 12.10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, 16.10 GMT. U.S. West Texas Intermediate, WTI, crude settled up $3.35, or 3.2%, at $107.62. The U.S. Federal Reserve was talking very hawkish which was undermining the oil rally, but sentiment is changing a little especially on strong economic data, said John Kildiff, partner at Again Capital LLC in New York. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. Top liquefied natural gas exporter Australia is in the depths of a power crunch just as traditional buyers are scrambling to meet shortfalls of Russian gas and winter takes hold down under. Europe's rush for supplies and an outage at the biggest US LNG plants supplying Europe have had knock-on effects driving power prices up in Australia too. Australia vies with Qatar and the United States as the world's top LNG supplier. But over the past month, it has struggled to keep the lights on as gas prices have shot up to record highs. European Union countries are seeking changes to a raft of climate change policies in negotiations on the laws, raising concerns that moves to weaken measures could see the EU miss its green goals. The EU is negotiating a huge overhaul of its carbon market and laws on energy, transport and forests, upgrading them to achieve a 2030 target to cut net greenhouse gas emissions by 55% from 1990 levels. Agreeing climate measures is an oft-fraught task for the EU's 27 member countries, whose reliance on fossil fuels and appetite for rapid emissions cuts varies. But divisions over the policies have intensified as governments negotiate them amid soaring inflation and energy costs. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. Gold edged up on Friday as the dollar retreated and recession fears buoyed its safe haven appeal, but looming interest rates hikes set the non-yielding asset on course for a weekly dip. Spot gold rose 0.4% to $1,830.22 per ounce by 2.20 p.m. Eastern Time, 18.20 GMT, after earlier touching a one-week low of $1,816.10. U.S. gold futures settled up at $1,830.30. Boosting gold's appeal, the dollar index fell 0.2%. Copper prices were on Friday set for their biggest weekly fall in a year down around 6.5%, as investors worried that efforts by central banks to stem inflation will stifle global economic growth and reduce demand for metals. Other industrial metals also tumbled, with nickel shedding around 13% this week and tin sliding 22%, its biggest weekly slump since at least 2005. There is a risk of further losses, said independent analyst Robin Barr. A sharp economic slowdown or recession seems to be on the cards. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. Malaysian palm oil futures logged a near 15% plunge for the week, its biggest weekly drop since mid-March, weighed by weakness in prices of soy oil and a rising production outlook. The benchmark palm oil contract for September delivery on the Bursa Malaysia Derivatives Exchange slid 88 ringgit, or 1.85%, to 4,656 ringgit, $1,058.18 a ton, after hitting an intraday low of 4.7%.
For the week, it is down 14.6%, its third straight weekly decline. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Tradeflow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Tradeflow News which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.